Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to be exploring the adaptiveness nature of the GRE exam. I know that this can be a troublesome concept for a lot of you guys, so I wanted to you know, take some time and explain it and you know, tell you exactly what it means as a test taker. Okay? First of all, what does it mean for a test to be adaptive? An adaptive test is essentially any test that changes as you take the examination. Right? So the GRE and GMAT are two examples of adaptive tests. So as you, you know, take the exam, if you perform well, then you'll get more difficult questions to answer. And as you take the exam, if you don't perform so well, then you'll get easier questions to answer. Okay, so the GRE is adaptive section wise. So what this means is the first section that you go take in the GRE, you know, it's going to be the same level of difficulty for everyone, right? It's going to be at like a medium difficulty, right? Depending on how you perform at that medium difficulty stage, the consecutive section that you get can be more difficult or less difficult. Right? So if you perform really well in that moderate section, then the second section you get will be like a difficult section. If you don't perform so well in that moderate section, that second section you get is going to be an easy section. Another thing that you have to keep in mind is that the GRE is section-wise adaptive, but only you know, corresponding to each type of section. So what that means is you can have, let's say the first quant section, let's say you have the moderate section, you do really well, right? And then the second quant section you get is like the hard quant section. Right? So then let's say in that first verbal section, again, you get the moderate section, but you don't do so well, you, get, you, don't, you don't do so well, you don't perform so well. That second verbal section you get will be like an easier verbal section, right? So the first quant and first verbal sections that everybody gets is gonna be the moderate section, right? The second or third sections that you get in that you know, quant and verbal is gonna be difficult or easy depending on your performance in the earlier section. Now, another thing that you need to know is that when it comes to the GRE, you know, when it comes to actually getting your final score, it's not so much as the number of questions you got right, it's more about the type of questions you got right. Like were they difficult questions? Did you get a lot of the difficult questions right? Then your score is gonna be higher. Were they easy questions? If you got a lot of the easy questions right, then your score is, you know, probably, it's not gonna affect your score too much. Now let me give you an example of, again, like an example of how that might work. Let's say you're doing the quant section, you know, the first section you get is like a moderate section, right? So in the moderate section, you get 14 questions right out of the 20 questions, right? So good job. So GRE understands that, you know, you are someone who's pretty good at quant. So the second quant section they're gonna give you, you know, it's gonna be much more difficult. Let's say in that difficult quant section, you got six out of 20 questions right. Now let's say your friend, let's say they're not so good at quant, okay? So they go take the exam and their first quant section is a moderate section. In that moderate section, they're not able to handle the questions and they say get six out of 20 questions right in the moderate section. Then the GRE understands that, you know, this person is not so good at math. So they're gonna give the second quant section a little bit easier, right? So the second quant section they're gonna get is gonna be an easy quant section. In that easy quant section, they get 14 out of 20 questions right. So both of you guys, out of the total of 40 questions that were given to you for quant, both of you scored 20 out of 40, right? However, your score is gonna be higher than your friend's score. Why? Because you got a higher, you got the difficult section and you got a lot of questions right in that difficult section. Whereas your friend, you know, they messed up the moderate section and even, though, even in that easy section, they were not able to get a lot of the questions right. So clearly this means that, you know, you have, you know, you are better at math than your friend. Right? So then you would be awarded the higher quant score as compared to your friend. So the same logic works in verbal as well. Now, another complication that can arise is when you get the test section. Okay? So with the test section is again when students get a little bit more confused. Right? So if you guys don't know, right, in the GRE, there's technically, there's six sections that you'll face, but the first section is AWA. Right? So I'm going to skip the AWA for now because AWA is not adaptive. So it depends on, depending on your test configuration, you can get either three quant sections and two verbal sections or three verbal sections and two quant sections, right? So again, it's, it's completely random. It's, there's, there's nothing you can do about it, right? Now, the trick here is that depending on which section you get three of, one of those sections within that, you know, within those three sections is gonna be something known as a test section. So a test section means, you know, they're just questions that the GRE is testing out on test takers just to understand, you know, what is the difficulty level of test of this question, you know, how many of the test takers get it right and so on, right? So your performance in the test section is not going to be counted. Now, the thing is, the test section is also counted towards that adaptiveness nature, right? So what I mean by this is, let's say, again, you get the first quant section, it's a, it's a moderate quant section, right? You do really well, right? And then you get the second quant section, it's a difficult quant section, right? And again, you do really well. The third quant section you get is, again, a difficult quant section, and you perform really well, okay? So then you've gotten moderate, you've gotten difficult, and then you've gotten one more difficult section, right? So this is how your quant split has been. Now you cannot predict which one of these sections is going to be the test section because it's completely random, 
right? So you could be, uh, you could be having, you know, the first moderate section as the test section, and then the, you know, the other two sections as your graded sections, or it could be the middle one could be your test section, or the last one could be a test section. There's just no way to tell. But the point I'm trying to make here is that when you have three sections, right? And there again, it can be quant or three verbal or three quant, it doesn't matter, right? Those three sections are going to follow the adaptiveness rule, right? So depending on your performance on the previous section, the next section is gonna be more or less difficult, right? So it's gonna follow the adaptiveness rule. Now, the thing is, you cannot predict which one of these sections is gonna be the test section. So you have to write the exam, you know, assuming that they're all graded sections, okay? So that's it for the video. I hope you guys got a little bit of an understanding of what is the adaptiveness nature of the GRE. If this video helped you in any way, leave a like, and if you loved it, subscribe as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.